Hey, what's up? My name is Nate, and welcome to another mini Bible lesson. For lesson seven, we're going to be in the book of James, chapter two, verses 14 through 17. But before we get there, I want to look back at Romans 4 5. That's the verse that we read for lesson number six. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest that you go do that now. Let's go ahead and look at the verse. To the one who does not work, but trusts God who justifies the ungodly, their faith is credited as righteousness. In lesson six, we discussed the concept of justification. In justification, we're reconciled and perfectly united with God based on our faith in Christ. In this verse, it's saying that faith is the sole means by which we are justified. In this lesson, I want to look at the word work. And the first part of this phrase says, to the one who does not work. So what is work? Work boils down to our good deeds, godly behavior, and our ability to follow God's law. And we are not justified by works. So if that's the case, does it actually matter the way that we live? And that question brings us to James chapter 2. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith but don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? He's asking two questions, and in that he's saying that there are two kinds of faith, a faith that saves and a faith that does not. So what he must say next, it's got to be really important, and he's going to give a hypothetical situation. Suppose you see a brother or sister that has no food or clothing, and you say, goodbye, have a good day, stay warm and eat well, but then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? So obviously the answer to that last question is nothing. It doesn't do any good at all. You've been no help. In verse 17, he's going to say something that sounds like it contradicts what Paul writes in Romans, but it doesn't. So let's go ahead and look at 17. So you see, faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it is dead and useless. This verse is speaking to a, of a transformed life. When we're justified by faith, we're empowered by the Holy Spirit to live differently. We're characterized by a selfless attitude. This is saying that the outcome of a genuine connection with Jesus are good deeds. The work is not what saves us, but the way that we live matters. Even Paul makes this incredibly clear in his New Testament books. He says that since we've been saved by grace through faith, we need to live in a way which honors God. In Galatians 6, 9, he says, don't grow weary of doing good. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.